We are now back. Odysseus is getting ready to invade the Trojans. They own many, many lands, and I must destroy them or capture them. Over here, we're going to use our agent. There's another leader now dead. I've been poisoning his army for quite some time. I've been bringing up my armies up north. That way, we can finally take a few locations. I've got to conquer everywhere if I want to win my current campaign. We'll take Troy in time, but until I do that, I need to go after locations that Hector owns, and he owns over 20. Take them on. Not needed. Give me treasure. I'll take your treasure right now. Now, who do we have around here? Who is going to further our cause today? Off of the mus. You're over here, and you're watching carefully. I could have you invade pretty close by if I wanted you to. We'll have to watch out for attrition, but it's usually not too bad. We've got two armies close by, right by Troy. So we need to watch out for Troy. I was able to wait out a little town over here. I spent a few turns getting my armies together. We need to continue fighting up north, I believe. Yeah. Let's go do that. You know what? We're just going to pass one over and go straight over there. Now, we're not going to attack every location directly or we'll never get done. So we're just going to wait them out. If they have a proper army, I'll fight them properly. But now, though, you're busy and we have jobs to do. I'll get something for that location later. I need more wood than what I have right now. I've got plenty, plenty of gold. Let's end our turn. But have a look. I've got a few enemies around me. Yeah, they're in a few locations. Especially Dardania. Come on. Sparta, get over there. Help me out a little bit, why don't you? Anyway. Let's get a move on. I've got to focus on Hector. I don't believe Dardania. There's Hector again. Or one of his boys. I could go get Helen. What do you want? No. Fight your own war. How about that, Menelaus? You conquered a majority of what's over here on the west. You can do a bit more. Aeneas. Right, Aeneas is quite busy. Achilles just lost the majority of his army. He's not doing very well. He's a good distraction, though. I did request that Sparta go after them to the east. I don't need to watch you, my man. I'm going to change up my camera options, I think, for that. I'm going to come over here, and we're just going to put it on fastest, or we'll never get done. There's so many different armies, so we'll change that strategic let's keep it strategic for all their well keep it to their armies neutral factions i don't care i really do not care give me the information i need the information that is vital for my goals and what we're trying to do today i don't know what factions might try to betray me but so far we are doing just fine and i wonder if i am going to play another troy campaign that will really be up to all of you i'm enjoying it i'm having a great time Let's see, which I think everyone can tell. <laughs> now we could go straight for Troy. That is the option. I was gonna wait on doing that, but if it's here, if it's here, and also Poseidon has been going after it. You know those events where Poseidon would just constantly harry them and destroy their walls? Yeah, that's been going on. So, if that continues to happen, you know what I could do. It would be quite easy to, let's come over here now. Murmurs of Sedition. There we are. We'll move in now. I'm here to conquer. I'm here to conquer a lot. I've got the money. And I don't even own that much land in comparison to some of the other mega giants around me. But we've conquered quite strategic locations. I mean, going out to Crete was a big one. I do like these campaigns and their length. I don't need one that's going to take me 50 hours to finish. I don't got time for that. I've got time for 20. I'll give you 20. Okay. Is it time? Oh, another army reinforcements, and that would be Aeneas. Sure. That sounds fun. We're about to go in. Do I get a Trojan horse? <laughs> Let's see. Let me check out my epic mission. They want me to loot or sack. Interesting. Well, I've got to do that. I can't just occupy it. I've got to go do that then. I'm going to bring in a second army as well. Okay. Let's go and look at other friends of ours. We're waiting out one location over here. Now, I wonder, am I going to conquer? It's a port. Yeah, they've got a port that belongs to Lycia, though. Might just burn it down then. The other town is probably over to the west, I would imagine. Yeah, I've got to imagine that is the case. 
So we're about to go into battle momentarily. Let me have a look at my resources and goods that I have around us. I've got a lot of good things. Minus one to happiness. I don't know if I like that very much. I'll just take a simple watchtower. There we go. I'm unlocking my giant champions, but someone would have to like run back to go grab them. That might be a little bit of a hassle, but it is finally time for the Siege of Troy. And later we'll get Helen. We'll be like, hey girl, I'm taking you home. Yeah, she's right over here. I wonder what happens when you get Helen. I don't actually know. It looks like today Poseidon has decided to grace her army by destroying the walls of Troy. There's no need for us to try to find a way in. Look at Troy. Troy's not doing particularly well. They're going to have a hard time defending from me. And we need to go over here because right now there's a large enemy army led by Aeneas that's come in to fight. If you look at it, they've been contained already. The fools thought they could win. The fools are having a bad time. If you look at what's happening, I've just got all my units layered out in a way where we can constantly use skirmishing weapons. I actually do wish we could have conquered over land more because I really enjoy the army of Odysseus. All the javelins, all the deadliness. It's awesome. So way over here, we've got heavy shielded spearmen. On our flanks, we're looking at harpies who are just throwing right into their groups. Way back over here, more harpy fiends, and we have a reinforcing army as well. Let's have a better look at what's happening. It just needs to be done. You can see the difference in quality between our troops. Aeneas, the great anus of the East, is not doing too well at uh, trying to break through. He came in to break through. It's a very Aeneas-like story, though, if you know his role in the Iliad. It's very much typical for him to come over here and fail. There's my Cyclops fighting some other mythical units, some centaurs. Aeneas, are you even out here, buddy? Victory. Odysseus right now has 32 kills. Centaur scouts are running away. These are centaur warriors. No wonder they had like a variation in their gear. Over here are my heavy sword skirmishers. 94, 74, 54 kills. My warriors of Ithaca. Over 114 kills, but they're on the very corner anyway. Now enemies are running away. Nothing but bodies left. I can't believe we came to Troy and we didn't even need the wall thanks to Poseidon. But those events kept popping up. They kept going, hey, by the way, we're done for, kids. We're done for. Oh, there's Odysseus. Launching at them right now. Okay, let's have a look over here. So we have our secondary army. He's moving in a lot of units, and I actually found it easier to micromanage two armies in Troy. And I think it's largely not because of the unit cards. That isn't it. It's largely because of the size of the icons. They're a lot easier to click on. I find them easier to click on than banners. Like those little banners you would have to click on and like let's say Total War Warhammer. I find these a lot easier to recognize and click on. So I, it was just very simplistic for me to go, oh, okay, I'll just group up these guys. I'll group up the ladies over here, and we'll be okay. And we could just do what we need to. There's Aeneas, the epic hero. I mean, I would say he's a hero, but he's gone now. And there's my chariots just driving through, making sure to flatten all the dead corpses here. Got to keep it eco-friendly. <laughs> Alright, so we're moving in a bunch of harpies. The ladies are like, whoa, we can have all of Troy? And I said, yes, you can have a little Troy as a treat. So that's what they're taking right now. And you can see that these guys, these guys, no matter how good they are, how good they were, they can't beat harpies. The onslaught of harpies, it's just a cruel thing. It's just a cruel thing. They're holding, though. You, well, you tried. The important thing is, you tried. Now, we've got some renowned swordsmen who are charging in, so maybe I can damage them enough. I've got over here more harpies who wiped out another group of archers. They're not even renowned. I don't even know of them. And here's their hero, Defender Protector. Meanwhile, I'm bringing in my other army. So, yeah, usually I just kind of, I like do that whole control G where you lock your group in a group and then you right click and it's like the equivalent of attack move in Total War. 
I usually do that if I don't care about casualties and I don't want to manage a second army, but here I was actually able to manage two armies at once, again, because of those changes in unit icons. Oh, guys, they're like, well, we tried to charge in. So now the harpies, the harpies, they kill. They like to harp on their enemies. Don't harp on me. Here's all of my bowmen. Have you seen my bowmen? They're right over here. That's a lot of bowmen. I can't wait to see what mods come out. I know that Epic is getting a mod store soonish. And who knows what people will just like generate. Like before all the workshops and mod stores or whatever they're called. I guess I should say mod workshop, not mod store. But you just had sites like Mod DB or Nexus. And that's where you got your mods from. And you just had to install it on your own. I get it. It's easier to just click a button. But I'll tell you one thing. Once you got it working... You could just leave it alone. Nothing would break it, which was great. I've got my Cyclops over here. We're attacking this guy. Oh, Odysseus has it under control. Yeah. All right. So while they're doing their thing right now, he's got 50 kills. That leader's about to break. I've killed most of them. I've got my other leader in the middle of a group. Now I've got some skirmishers, some melee skirmishers who are supporting me by throwing in javelins while I have my leader fighting the guards of Troy. The guards of Troy, of whom are being hit from behind right now. Then way over here, what do we have going on? Well, we have a bunch of harpies fighting in melee, which is not great. They got caught. I was busy looking over here, I think, trying to manage what was going on over here. All right, we took out the enemy leader. It looks like he's broken. Most of them are now leaving. I've killed most of them. So we could just see how that's going to play out. Like over here, the champions of Troy, I didn't even need to go into melee. They're all dead. My champion only got four kills in that whole fight. So clearly the javelins did a big job. Over here, we caught my enemies in a, cr in a crossfire. They came after a bunch of my harpies, but now... And let me explain why I do my replays and all that. One, I can focus on playing, which is great. Two, I can zoom in more without having to go into slow motion. And three, I can calmly explain my plans and what's going on and go over stats without having to talk a thousand miles per hour. And I just like it because I like zooming in. If I didn't care about visual graphics in a Total War game, then I would probably just like go play Rome 1. But I, there is a element there where I do like looking at shiny graphics and I find these to be cool to look at. The fact that I can look around and say, hey, I'm in Troy right now. When's the last time I played a game that put me here? It's It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a long time, actually. It's been years. I can't even remember the last game I've played that would put me into Troy. I don't... Oh, yeah. A custom map on Warcraft 3. That was it. After the Troy film came out, those became very trendy and popular. And they were super cool. <laughs> so... That might have been my only experience playing a game in Troy. But back over here, we've got sword skirmishers fighting some renowned archers. Not to mention, we've got Amazons later. Some pretty sweet Amazons. Those will be neat to look at. All right, let's see. Renowned archers over here. We're looking at over 60 kills. we got our heroes moving in to go fight them. Guards of Troy are close by. I'm like saying close by, but I'm not doing too much. Most of my enemies are dead. Odysseus. No. Uh, okay. Okay. So what are we fighting? Oh, Trojan Defenders. 85 armor. That's pretty good. Their stats are going down. They're losing a lot. As you can see over here, they're also discouraged. Meanwhile, on their flank, what do I have? I've got Harpy Fiends and Harpies. 145 and 211 for kills. I didn't even get to fight up here to the interior walls. I was hoping to do that. Yeah, I actually do remember what Troy looks like now. It's just I didn't think I would see it in such a beleaguered state. No but it's over. We've won. Well, we got Troy. Poseidon broke down the walls for us here. 271 lost. No one was wiped out. I destroyed them. Anais was like, dude, I've got the worst luck. You really do, Mr. Anus. All right. I'm going to sack. Let's do that. Improving all the time. You're right about that, man. Change of plans, huh, buddy? All right. Sacker of Troy. I have achieved what I needed. All right. So we got over here the city of Troy. 
8% the campaign movement range, more income for raising, more hit points, and he'll never tire. And also more income from sacking too. Now, Poseidon broke down the wall, so I didn't have to worry about things. I just had to get over here. But auto-resolving is not available. We are now going to occupy. I have it. Oh, they gave me the Sword of Troy. Look at that. Plus 10% to melee attack for sword, axe, and club units. Plus 8 to melee attack for the hero. And I have Troy. It belongs to me. What a bad day for all of them. So if I rebuild it, what do I get? I get my garrison. I get a huge siege holdout time. More influence. Immune to enemy actions. More growth. Gold. 27 gold per turn. 40 food per turn. And I get to recruit some stuff. Nothing too great. But some stuff. All right, then. Well, that was cool. Now we just have to destroy Hector. I want to go after Helen soon. Let me look at my other armies real quick. There's Odysseus. We do have... Oh, I'm not fighting you right now? Okay, very well. I guess we'll go up north. They've got a huge army or down here. I'll go down here first. Let's go down here first. Ooh. Thank you, Achilles. Much appreciated, pal. There's a big capital to the south. Helen is pretty close by. I'm going to go grab her later. I'm going to grab over here my watchtower. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold on to everything, but we're going to try to do some stuff, some action. All right. What about you? Are you ready? Not quite ready yet. No. We're going to end our turn now. We're going to end our turn. I've got plenty of food. It's funny because we didn't actually really have to use the Trojan horse. We just had to go in, but that's largely because of Poseidon. I mean, Poseidon just went in there and said, by the way, no walls. I'm a jerk. Which was probably the right time for me to go in to fight anyway. Oh, there's Hector. Wow. So he's right down over there then. Understood. I wonder how many units he has in his army. Oh, 11 out of 20. Okay. We're looking at level 18. It's pretty strong. I think I'll change up my camera options to be a little bit more personable next time, though. That'll be better. So we've got a lot of lands to take. I mean, Sparts is pushing in, too. So we're going to have some help. It won't just be me out here fighting alone. A new turn and another royal decree completed. Very, very nice. All right. So I want to gain that seal of Troy. Plus eight to happiness. Wow. Even gold. So our goal right now is to destroy who? Let's ensure that we know exactly who we need to completely destroy. Ah, Hector, right. I need to reach rank 27 with one agent. Which means I only need to go after one faction right now. Dardania, I could have a peace treaty. And that would be okay. Wonder, can I even get one? Oh no, I cannot. They hate me a lot. I am much, much stronger, too. So you're not over here anymore. I've got to hold on to Troy. I'm going to keep on conquering my way down here, though. Oh, that's a big one. I can build my Trojan horses, which, you know, that's what I have right now. I've got siege towers. I can use them. So she's over here. I just need to rebuild it then. Gotcha. All right. Now, I've only got the one agent. He's not quite rank 27. We'll go after their agent. Very nice. And you've got 10 units over here. If they would like to charge out, they can. Otherwise, I'm not going over there to bother them. No. I'm not marching to them. They can march to me. Like over here, we're waiting them out. They're losing a lot. They're going to lose more. Okay. Let's see. Alpha Damas. I could have you move over to... Yeah, let's do that. There's a lot that we can conquer. Oh, the balance of power is actually in their favor. They've got some very special units over here. Dardanian chargers. We're looking at defenders. Fearless swordsmen. 72 melee defense. 160 for damage. Over here for the defenders. 167 for damage. 65 melee defense. And they even have ranged abilities too. Now that's crazy. Show me. So we shall wait for a moment. We're hitting so many different locations right now, and I'm just taking my time. I don't need to rush. I'm not here to rush today. Can't afford another army. Not yet. I would like to get those giants, but they're so far away. It's over here. I don't really have the happiness to go up any further, do I? No, I do not. Wish I did, but I certainly do not. All right. I'll keep it simple. Influence would go down. Yeah, we could take that. 
C market. We'll take that one too. And we're going to end our turn again. Odysseus is getting ready for a big fight. I can't believe I have Troy though. That's wild. That is very wild. I need to save up. I need to get more gold. I need to get more wood. So gold is going to be the big one. All right. Let me go talk to our good buddy Sparta real quick. Well, no, they don't have a lot of gold. Does anyone... You've got a lot of gold. We okay. Both have much to gain. You're right. Let's do a single barter. Can I get like 200 units of gold? Yeah, I can do I that. Will. He's got more gold. We'll try it again. Can I get 200 more units of gold? Sweet. That's well, that's going to do it, man. I've got the gold I need. In one more turn, I'll have what I need to build up Troy. Because right now, Troy is not looking great, which means... Actually, hold on, hold on. That's a good point. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't try to march on without rebuilding Troy. Now, if I want to, I could also just get the wood now. I think I would like to do that right now. He's got a lot of wood, so let's go over here. And I want 3,000 wood. Let's do that. Those are my demands. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, sure, buddy. Here you go. They'll just give me... Huh. Good to know. All right, we can begin. I'm just going to rebuild Troy. I wonder if I can get like anything crazy over here. No agents. No, not really. No. All right, let's end our turn again. Maybe someone will come out to play. Ooh, what's over here? A lot of very elite units. We fight again. Now, here's a pretty interesting battle. I had to deploy close to them with a portion of my army. There's their own hero, their defender. Now, I've got my warriors of Ithaca. I've got my harpies close by. And I've got heavy sword skirmishers coming into flank. Odysseus is moving up. And so is my Cyclops. I'll call him Sai. And then over here on the right, I've got my skirmish chariots who are just going to move up into the trees over there. Here comes my armored giant spearmen and the rest of my army who couldn't deploy close by. I thought it would be important for me to just get right into it. And so far, I believe that is true. I mean, Champions of Troy, a very elite top tier unit. They're being eradicated by what we're doing. And the Champions of Troy are done now. They have 10 kills. It's slowly going up. They've died. Over here is Odysseus, and we're going to push into these heavy shock spears. Now, if you look over here, these skirmishers, well, they're not very powerful. They have 25 for missile damage. I'm moving in some warriors of... It oh, yeah, look at that. They're just charging in. These warriors of Ithaca are just going to clash with them and hopefully keep them in melee. My guys are much stronger. They're at 160 for damage. 160. There's a large group over here that we're hitting. They are losing. My harpy fiends are burning them down. Well, over here, we've got another group. Again, harpies. Any missiles I have, I'm using. I'm just boxing them in at various choke points. Over here, I've got my chariots just hidden away. They'll move in. I've got some more heavy shielded spearmen. We're going after some of these skirmishers who are close by. Odysseus, he's going after one hero. The other hero, well, he's just holding on, attacking some more skirmishers. But he's under attack by a lot of people. We wiped out that entire group of heavy shock spears. And we're just fighting in the middle of a lot of them. But they do have a reinforcing army. And our battle's not over yet because of it. All right. So we zoom back out again. And let's have a brief look at what we're going to be able to do about that. I mean, that's what I'm really talking about. Tactically, the battles are just so different for me. I wonder if it's just because of Cav. The lack of. That could be it. I mean, we do have chariots, but it's not really the same thing. Not in not entirely. Yeah, here's my skirmishing group. My chariot group just moving back real quick. They've got some ranged weapons, but they never really get a lot of kills despite their high damage. It's like they always get like a handful of kills. For them to get a lot of kills, it will take a prolonged movement. Oh, we got that hero. He's dead. The enemy hero has he has fallen. Those raindrops on the water on the ground actually look pretty wild. All right, so now we can move further. Now, they do have a lot of ranged weapons, and... uh I'm going to have to figure that out. I've got to figure that out. That's way too many. I mean, look at how many men are just launching into my ranks. We're taking more damage than I would like. I mean, that's a lot of archers. Regardless of how much damage they deal, which they do deal a decent amount of damage. That's way too much. 
We're still trying to break people over here. I'm still trying to help out my groups. That one hero is doing fine. My poor Harpy Fiends are not fine. They are under attack by sustained volleys. That's what you need to beat my Harpies. You gotta just volley them. Volley the hell out of them. I'm now moving around my chariots. I'm trying to get around like some infantry. I was really having a hard time with a few of them. And you can see where the challenge comes in. Yeah, they had over 3,000 men total. Warriors of Ithaca. I'm allowing them to throw in more javelins before we go in. Then we'll need to charge in. Ooh, there they go. Attack! Your warriors are losing heart. Who's losing heart? You can't tell me I'm losing... No, they are losing heart. It's not good. They're actually pushing me pretty hard because of those attacks. I'm finally getting some chariots over there. I don't know why I took so long with that. I really... I couldn't tell you. I couldn't place it. Let's see. Harpy's over here. 86 kills. That's too many groups. On only two groups. That's a real waste. All right. So there goes one group of chariots. And I thought to myself I could like rush in Odysseus too. Because they actually have a decent amount of kills for a bunch of ranged units that aren't mine. Here they come now. Finally, we made it over here. They were safe, too. They were safe for so long. That was hundreds, hundreds of archers. Now, we've got the chariots inside of them getting intimate. Just mixing things up around here, man. It's a blender now. Oh, look at those chariots go. Over 50 kills. Over 60 kills. Oh, we broke 70. Oh, man, we're at over 100 kills already. All it took was one charge for my chariots. That's all it took. Yeah, that's great. That's wonderful, man. I wouldn't mind a like little redux of Rome Total War 2 with the style of what we have here. I think that would be neat. All right. Let's see. 20 kills for Odysseus. What more do we have around here? My Klops over here has 55 kills. We're now flanking some of these guards at Troy. We have to if we want to kill them. That's a lot. See, now they have a lot of infantry fighting my one group of heavy shielded spearmen. Guys who are hard to beat up on. Odysseus is moving through. He's at 25. One no this one group has 192. What about my other chariot group? Are they in here? Yeah, they're over here. 77, 80 kills. And I just have all these ranged attacks going after these guards of Troy. Way back over here, we were fighting the entire time. Their leader is broken. He got one kill the entire time. My harpies are looking okay. Most of them are okay. Some I had to pull back out of the fight because of how treacherous things were getting. My centaurs only have, what, 13 kills? Yeah, they took a lot of damage. It's just the nature of the beast, you know. All right. So here we are. Four scores and blah, 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 years ago. And we've won. That's it. All right. We won that battle. I lost a decent amount. No one was wiped out. Like I told you, if they want to come out to play, let them come out to play. But I'm not going in for them. Otherwise, it would take me like 20 years. Imagine me doing like 27 battles. How many parts would that take if we're doing like three to four per part? Now, if they want to charge out and they've got two armies and I'm outnumbered, hell yeah, I'm ready for that. Bring me the challenge. I consent to your challenge. And over here, they're coming for one of my little villages. Oh, man, that's a lot of militia warbands. You know what? I haven't seen a singular stack like that before. Not in my games. Have I? I don't think I have. Not in Troy yet. Huh. All right, we've got slingers. We've got skirmishers. They've got a leader who's an archer. Interesting. Here's what I'm meant to lose. It's a long battle, for sure. It's a battle where I'm outnumbered, but they do not have quality. I have 1,096 men. They have 3,376 men. I've got my hero on the front lines. I've got archers and slingers and javelins. And you can see these boys. These boys have come in to die today. Oh, they're going to meet their end. They're meeting their end right now. And that's just the way it goes. They came in to play and it was just a bad idea. So I only need so many units, and if my oh, units yeah. are stronger, let me tell you something. We're not going to budge, not for a long time. My units have decent stats in comparison to what they have. 
They've got very low melee attack, but they do have decent melee defense. But I've got some damage output on my side. I've got to take care of their slingers for sure. Heavy sword skirmishers over here, just holding on. My leader's like in the middle. I didn't want him to be in the middle, but he was in the middle. 92 kills from my other heavy sword skirmishers. They quickly killed that group right there to the left. There's always One so many ways in. Has no more ammunition. So now I'm just allowing them to just shoot whatever they want over here. My leader has now almost 30 kills. And it's just a prolonged fight that I've not had in a Total War game in quite some time. Not since, like... Shoot, I only really played Rome 2. I didn't really play Attila. Yeah, didn't really play Thrones. Skipped over to Warhammer. I think I have a better appreciation for Rome 2 now. And historical games. I'm at a point now where I'm missing historical games. And I know Warhammer 3 will be cool and all. But I'm definitely in the mood for more historical takes. I really, really am. Just learning about real history and stuff is fascinating to me. I know enough about lore for me to kind of just be like, okay, well, I understand it all now. And that's true. I've been into Warhammer lore for, uh, let's see, since about 2005 or six. If you saw my book collection, I've got very rare books the Tomercon, I've got just a lot, man. So I'm ready to get back into history. That's my big thing. I just want to dwell in history. I want to enjoy it. I want to engage in more of it. That's why I'm looking forward to Crusader Kings 3. Because anything that I play that's from a historical perspective, you can bet your ass I'm going to read a lot. I'm going to watch documentaries, read books. Try to get a better understanding so that in time all the pieces will work together and I could be like, oh, I read about him months ago because I just played him and now he's in this other guy's story. And you can just see what happened here. We were actually able to flank them. They broke because let's have a look at my kills. 216, my slingers 287. They're able to use a lot of missiles too. Didn't have to use my island club warriors. Over here, they didn't budge me. I'm at 265. 261 over here. 117. My leader has 80 kills, and now we're just chasing after a few of them from behind. That's what we're doing. Meanwhile, I have my leader, who's right behind them, just shooting them point blank. And that's actually getting a lot of kills. Wow, he's at 112. Well, you go, man. Oh, and guess what I have over here? Some slingers who are now attacking. Now, I'm going to let you know. Right after this battle, we're going to have another minor town battle. It happens right after, so there's going to be two battles. And that's actually where we're going to conclude our part on the following battle so that we end out with a bang. And then, of course, we've got to keep on invading the many lands of the Trojans belonging to Dardania and other characters. And I'll do a vote, and we'll see if people want to see more afterwards. And if you do, we'll hold a vote for that, and we'll see. We'll see what's up, man. I've only played two characters and um, you know I'll only be doing one after I finish these two. Victory is close oh yeah we test. broke them all that was it and then I just spend time chasing them but that's how we beat them that's how we completely wiped them out. Here they come again to murder village. I wouldn't come here it's a bad neighborhood I'm here now we've got a hero over here an archer skirmisher 599 for missile damage attacking some light skirmishers I thought that would be quite important to kill some of these Dardanians if it wasn't for them, I could easily take on Hector's armies. But these darn Dardanians, led by Aeneas, they're constantly present, annoying me. 17 kills total. All right. Let's look over here now. We've got some other issues to worry about. The form of renowned swordsmen. Oh, there's only so much I can do about that, huh? 17 kills total. So let's wait a moment. Heavy Sword Skirmishers are now releasing Javelins. We have over here some Chariots trying to break through, but I thought to myself, maybe I can hit them in time before they can hit me. And it looks like they're being indecisive. All oh, that poor pony, I turned it into a unicorn. Nope, oh, just a dedicorn now. They're moving closer. Oh, they made contact, but they're not able to break through. Here comes more cheap, awful soldiers. And a lot more skirmishers than I've dealt with before, which is very concerning for sure. I've got over here some ambushers. They came to another village to annoy me, huh? 
anyway, I've got my hero over here. He's at 17 kills. Over on my right flank, we have heavy sword skirmishers fighting Trojan warriors. If I break them on one end, I can chase after their skirmishers and call it a nice day. They'll lose it. My slingers have 14 kills, and if you just let slingers get some nice kills, they'll get some nice kills. Like right now, they're all targeting over here. And they're taking some big damage. These are also low level skirmishers. They're only light skirmishers. Vanquish, okay, more speed, more charge bonus. A charge bonus is now 12, which is pretty substantial. They're grouping up over here. I've got my Island Club Warriors to help them out. Left flank, we got, again, ambushers just slowly, but surely, killing some renowned swordsmen. Let's watch that play out. Yeah, their guys look a little bit more armored than mine, for sure. They might wear a few more clothes, maybe even pants. No, not pants. I've got 78. Actually, I've got 78 armor. They've got 55. I actually have more armor. Well, all right then. I like that. I'm down with that cause. We're at 81 kills over here. My slingers who have a large amount of missiles. See, look, good versus missiles. If you want something to take down some enemy ranged units, these guys are good. Let's go look at that real quick. Arrows, javelins, and slingshot do not present much of a problem for this unit. We are able to respond to a rain of death coming from the sky more quickly than most. Yeah, they're very quick. Not to mention they're 49 damage. 49. And plenty of ammunition. That's a lot of ammo for slingers. They completely wiped out a bunch of skirmishers who were all grouped up. That actually gives me a greater appreciation for slingers. I'm going to keep that in mind in the future. They're just really good against missiles, so if I ever fight like a very missile-heavy force, I would want to use slingers more. So, again, I'm going to keep that in mind. Not just going to use archers, definitely going to use those guys too. We're holding over here. They're not really pressing in very hard, so that gives me a firm and distinct advantage. Over here on the right, we have their hero at 8 kills. They're going through some of my skirmishers, but it looks like right now we're going to win it. My heavy island skirmishers have 38 for missile damage. I'm now bringing in my ambushers to help out in the middle. Over here, we're still fighting on the left flank, but I thought they would be fine, so I just left them over there. My leader has 25 kills. He's killed a lot of renowned swordsmen. It's been crazy having these battles. I'm telling you, if we had the maps of Troy in a Warhammer game, that would change up the game completely. Or even the same building system or whatever. Because what Warhammer has going for it is all about the races and models and monsters and spells. But when it comes to everything else of what makes up a Total War game, very simplistic. The battle maps, very simplistic. Siege maps, very simplistic. The building, more sim uh, Like, when you're, like, the most simplistic out of any potential building system in a Total War game, that's saying a lot, because they're not too convoluted or too crazy. There are, like, really good combinations you can use in Three Kingdoms. You can definitely do that. But there's so much unit variety in Troy, it really caught me off guard. And I'm doing a little bit of like meta commentary right now, just to kind of like share my thoughts and see what you think. But that tells me that Three Kingdoms could have had a lot more unit variety, despite, you know, having similar cultures and things like that. Because in here, look at how much unit, ver like compare my Odysseus campaign to my Hector campaign, completely different play styles not even the same named units and you have to avoid that even if it's like only a slight difference but they're the same unit type you kind of need that to make every faction feel unique i personally think that so over here 31 kills for him he's shaken most of his army's been shattered i feel like units do break at a very nice rate in troy and they shatter at a very nice rate it's not a pain to fight battles i feel like yeah that makes sense they should shatter so whatever they did it just feels nice and we have mostly won the battle it's over now Victory our enemies have broken so thank you for watching today look forward to more content today don't forget odysseus is the best boy another win leave my garrison alone you'll keep on losing that's a great way to weaken dardanians they better not have another army, no. Better be gone. Okay, Amazons. Yeah, we can do that. I could use some wood. I've got plenty of bronze. And you're giving me wood right now. Alright. Phyllis. Syphilis over here. Pyros, huh? Interesting name. 
You want to ally me? I tell you no. You're way too weak. Hector. Pick a plan and stick to it, buddy. Ooh, Melos. Volcanic eruption. Let's go fix that up real quick. A lot of heroic victories. A lot of victories. Killed a lot of enemies, too, by the way. Oh, they're okay. They're going to be all right. Odysseus, my friend. Is it time? Go at them. I guess we're still destroying them, slowly but surely. That'll take a minute. We've got Amphidamas over here. And I'm not letting him leave until Troy is rebuilt, so that's not going to happen. I could just, like, get another leader. Oh, I'm losing some food right now, surprisingly. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's quickly... I guess I'll just burn it down. I don't need to hold on to it. I'm just here to beat up Dardania. I'm hoping other factions are fighting them, too, so that we can all do it together. All right, we're going to burn it down, man. Flatten, the place. Flatten all of it. We did it. Destroyer. Minus one to enemies. Oh, that's really good. So if we get more of that, I'll be able to just drain their health quickly. I mean, quickly. Let's come over here. We got another location to take. He failed at that time. That's a shame. I should have leveled up another spy, but I didn't really have enough food for a long, long time, man. I did not. What about over here? How are they doing? Are they okay? Yeah, they're still okay. They're going to have to charge out soon if they want to survive. Let's see. What do we need to build now? I'm going to build over here. Let's get more resources. I only have so much gold, though. I, I, well, actually, that's true. I need more gold. So we'll wait on that. I need more happiness. Actually, we're doing fine. So I'll take that now. That'll give me more gold. I'll take that, too. All right. Off of Damas. He is still waiting. So, it's about time. Let's end our turn. I need to see what they're going to do. Oh, boy. We are so powerful. We have conquered so much land. Let's have a look at that real quick. And it's not... Actually, I'm only kidding. We have not conquered a lot of land. I just have good locations that have allowed me to have a lot of power and wealth. I'm the island conquering man. And I've got so many of them, man. Oh, look at that. A little faction came to fight me. Well, goodbye. That should do it. I'll have to charge out soon. Ooh! How? Are you okay? Don't care. Alright. We'll take replenishment, because we do need to replenish. I'm sure Hector shall be back eventually. We're currently stronger than he is, but I do have four full stacks. 40, 60, 80 units total. That's a lot of units, man. That's a lot of units. To destroy Hector is going to be interesting. If I could conquer interior lands, I probably would have been able to conquer a little bit faster. For like turn 100, maybe. But because of that, it was quite challenging. You're friendly with Hector, which means we can't be friendly. That would be weird. All right, we won that one too. We killed him. He's dead. Legra is gone. Oh, you got Atreus. Well, that's rude as hell. All right. Do they have another town up north? No, we don't need to go up north. Cool. Well, then we'll head over to the east. Let's go march over to the east to a local town. Now he's able to replenish. And if I want to, I could bring him over here. Wait, what are these? Whoa, Phrygian warriors, right? The Axemen. I haven't seen their unit cards, or at least I don't remember seeing their unit cards. Now, how are they doing over here? slowly falling apart. I like that. That's good. Troy is building up. Four more turns to go. Yeah, in most locations, they are not holding up very well. I could use some more food. We'll take that. Minus four to happiness. I can stomach it probably. If not, I'll downgrade something, you know. There we go. More wood. We lose some influence. I've got some more stuff to build over here. Another watchtower. Now, let's make sure that our Spartan friends, yeah, they're out there. They're out there conquering. They own 93 locations. I'm rank two. He's rank one. We are the powers today. So we're still trying to go after Hector. And Hector has a lot of land. We just need to finish up north and then come back down. Dardanians, I'm not too worried about. It's just about getting them off my back. We'll take two locations over here and we'll keep on moving. So we're moving on to turn 139. I could probably afford another army. I would lose thousands of food per turn. But the big part is, the big part is, is that I would be able to probably gain enough food to keep on going, to keep on pushing. And let's see. Yeah, I could use more wood again. Thank you, Sparta. I'll have to ask him for more wood. I'm doing that intentionally. I don't want to try to get all their stuff if I can get it for free. I don't like to lean into any type of like exploitations or things like that. Sometimes, I mean, if it's like there and it's not too bad, I'll like check it out. 
Yeah, sure, man. Kidding. Are you fighting Sparta? Oh, wait, you're not fighting Sparta. Okay, sure. Come on in, Amazonians. She betrayed Hector. That's pretty rude. But to be fair to them, they can have whatever lands that they want. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll just run up. And he's gone. See, they've got elites, but they're not actually a very large army, so don't care. Ooh. And there's a win for the team today. All right, after that attack, we're going to occupy. And I'm just kind of like showing you a very aggressive style of play that some of you might like. Who knows? All right, so we own that location. I own three areas. See, it's all interior. No ports at all. We've got... Oh, you guys like me, right? So we'll come down over here. Paktia. I can conquer these two locations. Gotcha. So that's where I'm going next. That's where we're going next. Right down over here. We'll go after... Yeah, Murmur again. Okay, well, that was not what I needed. Troy has a few more turns to go. They are still falling apart over here. We took... Or we have some damage that we need to deal with later. Madares, we're going to build up that stone houses, or these stone houses. We're getting more tech done, too, which is nice. All right, let's end our turn again. We're passing a few turns quickly because now we're in the thick of it. We're fighting Hector. We're on his lands. And I'm choosing to not just charge in. I could easily do that, but I'm keeping things together. I'm keeping my lives together because, I mean, either way, I would have to, like, restore health and or numbers. Let's see. You want to give me food? No. Glycians have not been very honest with Hector either, but then again, he's not doing too well, is he? No, you don't get that. There's not a lot of factions left. It's pretty wild to see how few are left. Okay, so I'm about to get what? I'm pretty close to where I need to go. Upkeep goes down, but over here, I'm just trying to get more favor with the gods. All right. Let's go back over to Odysseus again and check on that little town. Oh, yeah, they're finally done. They're finally done. Let's get them. You got to be careful with auto resolving, even when it is in your favor. It needs to be completely in your favor or you could lose an entire unit, which has happened to me. And I'm trying to avoid that. Ithaca's one again. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got to rebuild that little area. We'll take him. He's only here to go rebuild it for me on our following turn. All right. So now let's move down. You finally did a good job. Let's run down and just conquer some stuff. Hector's like, dude, I'm getting destroyed. Yeah, man, you're getting destroyed. I wonder where Sparta's is going. I don't know where they're actually attacking right now. I have no idea. Let's occupy. These are actually locations I could sport and be OK with. All right, then we'll come on down over here. We'll go after that area. I've got the armies, man. I've got the power. How much longer for Troy? I'm also just trying to rebuild Troy. We've got two more turns. Might even build like a little mini army over there. Even like a very cheap one would go a very, very long way. I'm going to buff up whatever I can. Ooh, there's a 20 stack by Sparta. Yeah, if they conquer down there and I'm up here, we're hitting them on two sides right now. Dardania, they've got a eight unit force. Want Sparta? Send out your armies. Abantes, oh, you're still alive. What a tease. Okay, you've joined with Phyllis. Entreating the infinite, done. Prometheus's ring, the hero becomes unbreakable. Yeah, there's some really cool little bits of loot that you can get. If I said, oh, nice. Okay, minus 10% to bronze upkeep. Don't really need it that much, but anyway, here we are. Call nice. And done. No idea what I get for having Helen. No idea, but we shall see. What else do I need? That's bronze. I don't have a lot of gold, man. So that's kind of a tough one. I want to save my gold. Yeah, here we go. We'll like reduce construction time. Maybe I need to like rebuild it. Who knows? I don't know. A key and slingers. Okay, so we get some unique units whenever we go out to conquer. Sweet. Ruined port. We'll take that. Tier 2. I'm going to take... Let's see, where is it at? A good garrison. We'll need a good building for keeping people happy as hell. Here we go. Hall for Odysseus. We'll take that too. I'm saving up my resources for like things like that. So Let's go over here now and take Gargara. Ooh, 11 stack. They might come out to fight me. Engage the foe. 
Yeah, after doing that, I'm feeling pretty good, and we'll probably just begin to fight out every single siege battle that we can manually. I just wanted to kind of get through that and conquer some stuff on my own. All right, I'll take some Island Club Warriors. I'll take, like, six. I'll take... Let's see what's over here. Some Slingers. Get, like, four. That'll be nice. All right, I'm not too worried about you. You're moving down over to Sestos, but before you do that, let's bring in our spy. Memories of Sedition. Done. All right, let's bring them down. That's a big one. Oh my God, look at all the veterans over here. That's crazy. Now that's a nasty one. They could really hurt me a lot. Oh, I don't like those people very much. All right, we'll build that up. More food for me. I do need more food. Obviously, I've got to produce more food if I want to keep things okay. Got to get that food up. But we shall call it here, my friends, and once we are back, we shall continue to fight for the rest of Troy. The Trojans are falling. Once I break in with, like, all of my armies on the mainland, oh, we're going to dominate. Now, hold on here, Mr. Sparta. Here's what you should be doing. I don't know what you think you're doing, but here's what you should be doing. You should be taking out Dardania. Don't let them annoy me. Go out there and fight them. Come on now. 